Introduction Have you ever noticed the word pure written on the packs of these consumables? Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Know about classification of mixture Identify properties of pure substances and mixture Understand concentration of a solution Differentiate between pure substances and mixtures Know the properties of a suspension and colloid. Separating the components of a mixture by evaporation, centrifugation, decantation. Classification of mixture. On the basis of chemical composition, matter is classified into two main types. They are pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are of two types. They are elements and compounds. Mixtures are of two types. They are homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. Pure substances and mixtures. Pure substance is a substance which consists of a single type of substance, element or compound. Example, iron, copper, hydrogen, water, etc. Mixture is a substance which consists of two or more pure substances. For example, sea water, minerals, soil, etc. Differences between pure substance and mixtures. Pure substance. Pure substance consists of a single type of substance. Whereas mixtures consist of two or more pure substances. Pure substance cannot be separated into other substances by physical methods. But mixtures can be separated into its components by physical methods. Pure substance has its own definite properties. Mixture shows the properties of its components. Types of mixtures. Homogeneous mixture. It is a mixture which has a uniform composition. The particles of the mixture are not visible by the naked eye. Example, mixture of sugar in water, mixture of salt in water, mixture of copper sulfate in water. Heterogeneous mixture. It is a mixture which has a non-uniform composition. The particles are visible by the naked eye. Example, mix mixture of salt and sand, mixture of sulfur and iron fillings, Mixture of oil and water. True solution and its properties. A true solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. A solution has a solvent and solute as its components. The component in the larger amount is the solvent and the component in the lesser amount is the solute. Solution of salt in water. Solution of sugar in water. Iodine in water, tincture iodine, soda water are true solution. Colloidal solution. A colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances. For example, mixture of starch in water, mixture of egg albumin in water, milk, air containing dust and smoke, etc. Properties of colloidal solutions. Colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture. The particles cannot be seen by the naked eye. The solute particles cannot be separated by filtration. The solute particles do not settle down and the solution is stable. The particles scatter a beam of light passing through it and the path of light is visible in the solution. Suspension and its properties a suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Example, solution of sand in water, solution of chalk powder in water, colgate, etc. The particles can be seen by the naked eye and can be separated by filtration. The solute particles settle down and the solution is unstable. The particles scatter a beam of light passing through it and the path of light is visible in the solution. Tyndall effect When a beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution, 
the colloidal particles scatter the beam of light and the path of light becomes visible in the solution. This effect is called Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect can be seen when light enters a room through a small hole due to scattering of light by the dust and smoke particles. Tyndall effect can be seen in a dense forest due to scattering of light by water droplets in the mist. Concentration of a solution The concentration of a solution is the amount of solute present in a given amount of the solvent or solution. The concentration of a solution is the mass of solute present in a given mass of the solution. The concentration of a solution can be expressed as the mass of solute present in a given volume of the solution. Separating the components of a mixture The components of a heterogeneous mixture can be separated by following techniques. Evaporation Centrifugation Decantation Sublimation Chromatography Distillation and fractional distillation. Evaporation. This method is used for separating a volatile component solvent from a non volatile component solute by heating the mixture. In the graphic, rainwater evaporating from warm pavement after a thunderstorm. Centrifugation. The method of separating denser particles and lighter particles from a mixture by using a centrifuging machine is called centrifugation. If we take some milk in a centrifuging machine and spin it rapidly, the cream separates from the milk because cream is less dense than milk. Decantation using separating funnel. This method is used for separating a mixture of immiscible liquids. Liquids separate into different layers depending on their densities. If we take a mixture of kerosene oil and water in a separating funnel, it forms separate layers of oil and water. The water can be separated by opening the stop cock. After the water flows out, the stop cock can be closed. Did you know? The gold in water refers to a famous colloid made by Michael Faraday. It still exists in the collection of the Royal Institution in London and it has not settled out. By the way, colloids as a group were first recognized to exist by Thomas Graham around 1860. He found that substances like starch or gelatin diffused very slowly, the water as compared to sugar or salt. Also, the former did not diffuse through membranes that sugar and salt could. Graham also found he could make crystals of salt or sugar, but not of starch or gelatin. He coined the word colloid from the Greek for glue to describe this new category of mixtures so different from suspensions or solutions. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A mixture contains more than one substance, element or compound mixed in any proportion. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Materials that are insoluble in a solvent and have particles that are visible to naked eyes form a suspension. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture. Colloids are heterogeneous mixtures in which the particle size is too small to be seen with the naked eye but is big enough to scatter.